if you are just starting out in ai and want to run large language models on your local systems no matter which gpu you are using or even if you have a cpu then i would highly suggest you start with olama olama is one of the easiest and quickest tool to run large language models locally i already have covered olama a lot on my channel so if you're interested please search the channel just type olama and you should be able to see how to install it and how to run with it in my opinion it is one of the easiest open source tool that lets you run create and share large language models locally with a command line interface on mac linux windows and various flavors of linux are supported given the name olama primarily supported uh, started by supporting llama 2 and then it started expanding its model library to include models like mistral phi2 mixtral and then now it has hundreds and hundreds of models out there it doesn't require much hardware really and the setup time is very very little and that is why i believe it is one of the best tools out there one of the cumbersome thing which some people face is that they have to work with cli in order to use olama and that is why if even you search my channel i have covered more than 50 to 60 tool which you can use as a web interface or graphical interface or even a thick light interface on top of olama to make things easier so that you don't have to tinker with the cli even but in my opinion cli is much faster and better by the way anyway in this video i'm going to share with you yet another graphical user interface or uh, html interface on top of olama this is by far the simplest ui or user interface i have found for olama installation is very simple very easy very lightweight and it doesn't really add any frills to it it's a straight up user interface so we are going to install it on our local system and then we will see how this works before i show you the installation of this olama dash ui or html olama let me give a huge shout out to our good friends at mast compute who are sponsoring the gpu and vm for this video if you're looking to rent a gpu on affordable prices i will drop the link to their website in video's description plus i'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50 percent discount on a range of gpus let me take you to my terminal where i'm running this ubuntu 22.04 and i have one gpu card of nvidia rtx a6000 let me clear the screen i already have olama installed so let me show you this is olama and i already have five models running if you want to download any model simply do olama poll and then model id which you can see for example i have llama 3 here and that should download model on your local system let me clear the screen i will be using conda to create a virtual environment to keep everything separate from my local installation this is not mandatory but i always highly recommend and this is my conda version and again if you don't know how to install conda i already have done heaps of videos on conda so please search it out and you should be able to follow a very simple guide in order to install conda so let me create a conda environment and i'm then activating it should not take too long and that is done let me git clone the repo of this olama dash ui and i will drop the link to it in the video's description now in order to build it all you need to do is to run this command uh, not this one sorry let me clear it up make all you need to do is to run this make command and it is going to create everything for you and you see as soon as i ran that make command it has started um, the server here it says olama server because it is already in use so if your olama is not running it is going to automatically start it but because mine is already up and running so uh, you can ignore this error okay and you can see that now your user interface is now being served at your local host at port 8000 so let me open it let me go to my local host here and i'll just say http localhost and then port 8000 there you go so you have your chat with olama very easy very nifty and very clear 
this is the default username and port where Olama is running and by the way if your yours is running at a different port you can always mention it you can select the history of the chat and these are the models which are already running on my system which I showed you earlier that these were the models which were already present so you can just select any model here for example I'm selecting this and then you can start chatting with that model like I'm going to ask it what is happiness and then you can click on send and it is going to chat with that local model on your local system and it is going to display the response in a very nicely written markdown format which is always easier to read and you can of course always change the system prompt which tells AI what it needs to do so you can just tell it you are um, maybe you'll say your Socrates and always reply in philosophical terms now let's ask it what is AI and then you can change it or you can even so you see there you go you see it is all about AI and it's all philosophical so you can change it very easily so my dear friend let us embark on a most intriguing inquiry into the nature of AI for it is subject so you see it is following that system prompt here now you can simply go with any other like deep seek coder here and you can see you can just tell it to uh, maybe a coding one that write me a python program to reverse a list and then click on send it doesn't accept enter it seems and then you can wait for it to come back and there you have your python code to reverse a list and of course you can just simply copy it from here if you like and then if you want you can delete the stuff from here or you could save this chat something like this you can just say code and then save it and then from here if you click on reset it is going to reset everything if you want to go back to your previous chat you can just select it and it is going to load your previous chat so it is maintaining the history which is quite cool so you see just with few lines but you have now a very very uh, nifty very lightweight easy to install easy to manage interface on top of our favorite tool olama so real good stuff and i even like the uh, background of it Le really looks cool so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it really hats off to this guy who has created it simple javascript cascading style sheet and html that's it if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please do me a favor and share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching